Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how we can do busting in Oracle BIP reports. So to start, we'll understand first what a busting is. Busting is a process of splitting the data into blocks, generating document for each block and then delivering those uh, document data to one or more destination. So what we are doing, we are actually dividing our data into different segments generating document out of it and then sending it to the destination. Here the delivery channel can be either email, can be fax, can be file etc. So this is the basic definition of bursting. Uh, now I'll show you how it is done. And uh, so for this we'll create a data model and then a report of out of it. And after that uh, I'll show how bursting is done and how we send the uh, report or our output to the different destinations so uh, i'll begin with creating the data model by the way i have made a detailed video of how to create a, a report in oracle bip uh, i'll share the link uh, please check that out so here name i'm giving as busting report i can give whatever i want so i'll just write my extraction query first so we'll be extracting supplier information I'll be not extracting all the supply information. I'll just uh, extract for a few suppliers. Uh, here in the where condition, we can also pass parameter, uh, but in the interest of time and the interest of the topic, I'll keep it simple. I'll be hard coding the values here. So I'll be actually sharing this uh, extract query in the description. You can check, this, check that out. So here I'm extracting the uh, supply information and I've passed uh, in the the supplier numbers in the uh, where clause so okay i have missed the operator here i'll just give it in so we'll view our data So see here uh, we have uh, the supply number, the supply name, the business relationship, uh, the creation date. So here you see the business relationship is spend authorized and prospective. Uh, so we'll be actually uh, dividing our data into block based on the business relationship. I'll show that how it is done. But before that, I'll just create the report out of it. So just cl click on save as sample data. Uh, I'll just save this. And here I'll give uh, supplier info. So our data model is created now and it is saved. Uh, now, we'll now we'll create the report out of it. So we'll click on save as sample data. Click on create report. Just click on next. Data model is already chosen here. Uh, here just click on next. Then uh, select the uh, then select the fields you want into your report. So I will want all of it. I'll just drag and drop. I'll just uncheck this. The it actually returns the total number of rows returned. So I'll just uncheck it. I don't need it. And just I'll click on next. So I'll give it a supplier info report. So just click on OK. Now we'll uh, view our report, and this is the data. So now coming back uh, to our uh, data model, they will add up uh, busting definition and everything. So I'll just click on this is our data model. Just go on edit. Uh, here uh, we'll go to bursting. We'll click on add a new bursting. I'll keep the name as bursting one only. That is fine for me. Type will be SQL query and the data source will be FSCM. So now uh, here it asks you what you want to split your data by. I want my data to be split by the business object, uh, sorry, business relationship. So I'll choose this and, and what I want to deliver it, I want it to be delivered by the same way. So I'll just again go with business relationship here. 
so now here it asks me to actually provide the um, SQL query so I'll write the SQL query and I'll uh, show you the significance of that so I'll start with select then it's business relationship so here you basically uh, define your key uh, key is basically what you want to split your data by so I am splitting my data by business relationship so I'll uh, specify business relationship as the key here after that uh, it, uh, we need to specify the template so I'll show you where we will get the template uh, so uh, before this I'll just uh, duplicate it and I'll show you so we'll go to catalog Uh, this is a report. Okay, now click on edit. So you'll get here. You'll get the template name. I'll show you uh, The template name is supplier info report. So you need to specify that so uh, Then you need to specify the language uh, so will be uh, language would be English or here so I'll just give after that you can specify the output format Now we want to uh, share this information via email so I'll give the delivery channel to be email uh, then I'll want this PDF file to be named as me2cs so this will be your output name uh, we can act and after this uh, we'll define all the parameters which will be used in uh, our uh, writing the email part that is the from uh, to uh, subject body uh, all those things uh, actually we can uh, get all the information uh, what to be added in bursting here so it actually this uh, document completely defines you so here you see uh, I'll just show you so here you specify the template key template locale output format if you want to save the output you can specify that also you can specify the delivery channel see we have different delivery channels here then you can also specify the time zone calendar to be followed output name and then uh, you have parameters so parameters actually varies for email printer fax web there are different different parameters uh, so coming back I'll the first parameter is the first parameter is email so email address so I'll uh, give uh, so parameter one in the document is for these uh, the address where you want to send coming back parameter to is CC I don't want uh, any information to be provided here so I'll skip and then from I'll just mention no reply at the rate oracle.com this will be my parameter too don't worry I'll be sharing all these queries with you in the description uh, so this is done next I'll specify the subject that is our parameter 4 so I'll give it as supplier info then message body is uh, parameter 5 Actually, uh, for all these uh, 
values all these parameters you can actually create a parameter and pass it here i have made a separate video where you can find how to create a parameters uh, that will be i'll be sharing that link here uh, in the description please check that out so you will understand how parameters are created in bip report there so this is the and parameter 6 is attachment value so we are sending a pdf here so our attachment value would be true because we want that pdf to be present from uh, again the same table only and i'll just copy the where condition here also because if we don't copy we'll uh, uh, get the uh, actually this particular uh, query will uh, return return you all the suppliers uh, so you will be have that much multiple of multiple uh, number of uh, email coming but the information will be this only but then the number of email coming would be uh, more so to keep that in sync i'll just specify the where condition here and i'll just paste it here and just tab out so everything is correct uh, from keyword not found okay so i must have missed a comma somewhere yeah not a comma i just gave a space here so i'll just remove this so i'll just tab out now see invalid okay again here also in this left sorry i'll just correct it here otherwise i'll uh, mess it while giving it in the description so i'll just not tab out so and now just save it so now our data model is done we have defined the bursting uh, we have defined the bursting query uh, so the, the next job is creating the ESS job if we don't create the ESS job for it and if we try to do the bursting from the report the process will be successful but you won't be getting any email so please keep in mind you need to create the uh, uh, this uh, ESS job so I'll be showing how to create a ESS job here However, I will make a detailed video of creating an ESS job where we would be uh, passing uh, parameters and all those things. It would be a simple ESS job because we are not using any parameters here. So for that just go to setup and maintenance. Go to search. Here just search with managed percentage, scheduler percentage. Now come to uh, supply chain management because supplier falls under supply chain management supply chain management uh, now here uh, just to create a ESS job click on the create option so here uh, in here actually you can give spaces but in the name uh, it's mandatory to you cannot give space here so for path you just need to give Oracle apps ESS custom which you need to keep your ESS jobs, your custom ESS job. Uh, in application, I'll give uh, supplier model. Description, I'll give send supplier info by bursting. So now here uh, in job application, again uh, FSCM job type will be BIP job type and here uh, you need to check this box that is the bursting report if you don't do this bursting will not happen here output format can you can give i'll just go with pdf or you cannot give that is fine i'll now come to report id so report id so what you have to populate for this just go to your catalog here if you go here and go to schedule okay here also uh, you'll find the uh, exact uh, report name so you have to file that in the you have to provide that in the uh, your uh, report id so i'll just paste it here now just click on save and close our ess job is created click on done now go to uh, go to tools go to schedule process and just schedule the uh, process so now go to uh, now go to schedule new process here you need to search for your ESS job. So this was our ESS job. Click on OK. 
supplier info 2250 send supply info by bursting so this was the description we gave just click on ok here uh, click on summit so our uh, process id is 936126 click on ok so process started uh, this is the mail id here now we don't have any mail uh, let's see So okay, our ESS job actually failed. Uh, the reason for it is uh, so instead of uh, .com, we have provided the wrong. So I'll just correct it here. I'll quickly go to my this. I'll just make it .com. Okay, I'll just save it again. So it is saved. So our first ESS job failed. We'll try the second one now. Uh, same yeah okay summit so now our process id is 130 just click on ok we'll refresh again it is showing some error it says we missed the from from is there okay yeah when another blunder we did uh, actually uh, from would be parameter 3 I'll just show you here and we have given parameter 2 so I'll just make it parameter 3 and I'll do the same here in our report also in our uh, data model uh, the bursting SQL query just again save it it happens sometimes people do mistakes So we'll submit the ESS job again. Uh, we'll see 131. So these kinds of mistakes actually people do. So now it is C succeeded. I'll just click on here and I'll just go and see whether we have received the mail or not. Yeah. See, we have received the supplier information and we have the uh, PDF. So your uh, status is green now. So the process is successful i uh, hope you would have liked this video uh, you would have understood how we create bursting uh, if you have any problem any difficulty facing in creating the uh, bursting out of a bip report uh, just feel free to comment i'll be sharing the uh, uh, the query which i've used in the description take care thank you